decision to halt the deportations of dozens of Iraqi immigrants. It's a victory for them. It will allow them to stay in the U.S. until each and every one is granted due process. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini is live in Detroit with what that complicated court ruling means, Brianne. Well, the judge's decision here today in federal court is just one more step in the process and making sure each of these Iraqi detainees has an individual court hearing before a final decision for deportation is made. And that final decision to deport them could lead to possibly deadly consequences. It's been more than a month for hundreds of Iraqi immigrants who were arrested by ICE, living in jail cells unsure of their futures. And we've heard from their family members before, but as this situation continues to play out, more and more are having real fears about speaking out. They know that uh, that ICE is a vindictive law enforcement agency and they're afraid to come forward and tell their stories. Some who have already spoken to us have been discouraged by the backlash they've received in the community. Reading the comments that some people post online on some of these stories, it's it's draining. The immigration debate is dividing. Many people have strong feelings about what should happen to these individuals currently detained, but their families want them home and they hope that getting a day in court will help that happen. And today's judge's decision will also allow that to happen without these individuals getting deported first. It really gives people their due process rights. It allows them to have uh, what we, what's something that's fundamental to our constitution and our American way of life. The reality of what might happen if these Iraqis are sent back could be gruesome. Many don't have friends or family there and haven't for decades, and they fear they will be targets. Kidnapping for ransom, um, all sorts of, uh, of nasty stuff that you and I living in our everyday American lives can't even imagine. So the deportation decisions should be coming on a case by case basis and all of these detainees are encouraged to get attorneys. Now the federal judge will regroup on this hearing and meet again on August 31st to see how the process is going. Live in downtown Detroit, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Brianne, thank you for the live report tonight. We have